Hello scrappy friends, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you are joining me today. Let me show you what I did with this paper and my scissors. I started cutting here around all these flowers, as you see. And this paper is um, from, <clears throat> let me show you, Memory Place. And this is the other paper from Memory Place that comes in the February Limited Edition kit. I just cut this piece that looks like a journal <clears throat> and the flowers because I want to create like a the idea for this page is uh, that the photo and everything is uh, it's like a uh, journal page let me show you what is my idea okay first let me ink all the edges here I'm using the vintage photo uh, oxide <clears throat> And I am inking like twice just to give this a uh, vintage look. And I'm going to do the same with the uh, journal page. <laughs> like like I, I'm going to call this uh, piece the journal page. And I'm inking all the edges to give depth and this vintage look. And you can see here what is my idea. This is the lovely photo. And I also cut this doily from one of my die. And I am inking with the same vintage photo color all the borders <clears throat> and I'm going to do this with the other half and they are ready now I am planning to put this between the cardboard that I put behind the photo and the photo in that way I give dimension to this piece and create a different layers than the other that where I'm going to adhere this and you can see here what I did now I'm going to give two dots of hot glue just to secure uh, the doilies behind the photo and this is ready and this is the idea that I am planning put it here but <clears throat> let me align this okay now I love this piece that is from the femora and I inking also all the borders and I'm going to attach uh, on the back a piece of cardboard too to give dimension and I want to show you the postcard area here behind the photo as you see once I have this I'm going to cut uh, a few of these cardboard pieces because I want to create the same dimension to the uh, journal page as you see this is the back of the piece and I'm going to adhere all these sheet boards around this piece well, not around, in one of the sides, because the part that goes uh, behind the flowers, it will be flat. And you can see here how I'm going to create this layer. First, the journal page, as you see, next the postcard, and, uh, and on top of that, the photo. And this is the idea that I have for this. Like, a, they look like a journal page. Okay, here I take my ruler, I am... Um, making marks because I want to align these uh, very straight and you can see now I'm using the stencil one stencil from I think it's uh, from a previous uh, limited edition kit and I am inking this with warm lipstick distress ink and I want to give these hearts on the background and this color match perfect with the uh, color of the pattern paper now I remove the the photo and the journal and now I am inking through the stencil to create a few of these hearts on the background paper and I love this uh, pattern paper it have like a coffee stain or tea stain some uh, it, it looks like a mess of, of mixed media on the background just love it here I'm putting back all the pieces just to see, to see where where I need more color because I, I just want to give like a hint of this uh, pink color I don't want to add too much and you can see that I can see now over the piece some of the hearts in the uh, left side are on the bottom now it's time to start to adhere and i'm going to adhere the photo to the uh, postcard i am trying to align this uh, uh, in a way that i can show the postcard word uh, in the left of the photo once i did that i'm going to start to uh, put all the things and adhere the big one that I call the journal page and I'm going now that I have all the pencil marks uh, align this with the pencil mark and adhere it to the pattern paper 
once I have this, I can uh, continue adhering the rest of the pieces. And I am working today because I don't know if you see my previous video, but I am working with the February limited edition kit by my credit scrapbook that is always in the description box down below. You will find the link to the kit so you can go to the uh, my credit sites and see many beautiful and amazing projects that the design team create with this kit. Now here I am adding, I cut out some flowers from the paper I am uh, putting here on the bottom of the photo and then I cut a piece of leaf from my stuff because I want to give this beautiful finish here uh, to this paper. So I think that the, the lace give this a uh, nice touch, it gives this vintage lovely touch here to the bottom of the page. and. It can it combines with the doily behind the fla the photo. So now I take some of the uh, prima flowers that comes in the kit, um, other elements from the kit to embellish this and to create like a flower cluster in this uh, uh, corner. Here I am combining some pieces from the ephemera that I already cut the white border. I am inking all the pieces with vintage photo too to create the vintage look in this page. And I am here, you can see that I'm putting one behind others just to create different layers here with the different pieces, some flowers. I am trying to combine all the colors that the paper has. So you will see that I will add color vine, wine, um, pinks, uh, ivory, etc. And I am trying to, in some of the pieces, you will notice that I am adding the glue on top of the flower just because I'm going to adhere this behind a, a paper flower and in that way I can create different layers and you will see you can I can highlight more the layers that I am creating in this corner <clears throat> I love these vintage pieces that comes in the kit they are from Oh my gosh from sorry simple story that this kit comes with a simple vintage love story by simple story and some papers from memory place and i want to combine both uh lines to create this page and here i am cutting i, I like this feather so i remove the white border i'm going to ink in also with the vintage photo to create more cohesive look in this uh, page and at here i love the clock because you know love at uh, clock time all mix well so and uh, now i cut a bunch of this leaf from one of the of my die i think this is from tim holtz one of the dies from tim holtz and i want to add some of this leaf between the flowers and the different elements in this uh, corner here and I also want to add one here in the bottom uh, just to uh, add movement to this piece. I am using the small flowers. I love the small flowers and I want to put one at the end of the lace. And this will finish this uh, uh, tip here, this corner. Now that everything, I am, I am glad how everything looks. I'm going to adhere this. Okay, I finished to adhere all these and I also add 3 different tapes in this border just to add a little of dimension and now I take a piece of white cardstock and I put it adhesive because uh, I'm going to attach all this, all the part that I cut out or that I cut off from the pattern paper and adhere to this base of white cardstock. I am aligning this now. And once it is ready, I'm going to adhere uh, first the borders and then, and the last uh, I would add is this part here with the uh, 3D foam tapes. And I put it uh, from the half of the flowers to the top. And you can see here, this is ready. Okay, now that I have all this, now I'm going to work with the title and I'm going to use the sticker uh, the sticker words from the that K 
page that comes in a kit and I select the love you and I'm going to put this in the left bottom part of my page and I'm trying to align this it's sticky so it will take me a little of time here let me see and I want to put the part of the love of the L uh, letter on top of the U let me see if I can do it better in this way here Okay, it's ready and it is at attached. Now I'm going to add a few of the pearls that comes this month in the kit from Prima. And I'm putting hot uh, glue uh, on top of some flowers behind. I'm going to add the, the pearls in the different layers that I create. And then once I add all the pearls, I'm going to add this that I love here behind the postcard in this corner. I like this piece and to bring a little of color uh, pink in the top here. Now I cut one of the butterfly and I ink in all the edges also with the vintage photo and then attach this on top here of the title and in the left the, when finish the, the lace here I'm adding some uh, sequins and I'm going to add a few of them in the different layers the same that I did with the pearls and I'm going to continue adding here and there I'm not going to show you all the process but just to give you an idea what I made because I you will notice in the photos at the end that I add uh, a lot more of the sequence and pearls okay I think that this is okay okay once I put all the sequence I cover my photo and I am giving white paint splatters I was thinking to give uh, vintage photo uh, splatters but at the end I decided to go with white to create like a chavy vintage look in this page and I also with the same mix of uh, white acrylic paint uh, um, water I put it over the flowers and some of the elements here in the uh, flower cluster to give a more a chubby, look, chubby chic look here and let me show you the page later it, it is not complicated and I just love the final result I hope that you enjoy this let me show you all the layers and you can see here it looks so so lovely it's more vintage what are your favorites more vintage or more shabby chic anyway let me let me know in a comment down below and let me clean this here it has a little of paint and here are some of the detail also you will find in the description box the links to my social media you can go there and see all the details in the photo that I'm going to put in Instagram and in my Facebook and my friend I hope that it inspired you and if you like it let me know with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to more videos that maybe you are interested and I see you soon with a new video tutorial nos vemos bye bye